Hi, I'm here with Gunda in Germany, and uh, she asked me to work on uh, if we have something in osteopathy for stop smoking. So uh, I'm going to try to show you a little protocol that I use many times, and uh, a lot of people were very really successful with uh, one session to stop smoking. Um, you have to, for sure, at some point, look for the um, respiratory pathway. You have to check everything in the uh, area of the uh, lungs, and you will have to do the liver at some point. Uh, you have to prepare them psychologically also to be sure that they are able to feel that they are non-smokers. And finally, uh, we're going to try to do some technique to facilitate uh, the uh, erasing the memory uh, of uh, feeling uh, that we need to smoke. So, Kunda, how do you feel about being a non-smoker from now on? I like to feel so. so. If you like to feel, that's good. She's, uh, some people, sometimes they come, they take their last cigarette and they come in the office. It's more difficult. So, first thing, I would like to just check her liver. It's a typical thing we do with lymph. You can see most of the time you have a little limitation on the, on the arm. I never worked on Gunda. I just want to discover what's going on with you. Uh, we're going to find if there is any ligaments that are stuck. Triangular ligament is a little bit. And she has a big um, uh, restriction in that lobe. So I'm going to just ask you to go on the side. And I'm going to check. I think I'm going to do the lobe first. Descending pathways, and I'm going to do the coronary ligament on the right. Actually, that's really the triangular ligament there, and the lobe is going up. I don't know if it's going much easy, much more easily there. That's going to help detox the nicotine on the on the liver. Face up on the back. So it's much better, much more elastic, going up and going down. And I'm going to go between two lobes of the liver, two segments actually in the proper turn. And I'm going to free that part. Perfect. What's your aspect? It's much better. And usually the liver uh, released some of the restriction of the arm. And now the first restriction is about here. I don't even know if it's a shirt or... Let's just tell me something happened. When I was working on the liver, I also felt something happen on the lung. So you can work for the pleura. You can work for the bronchomediastinal membrane, suspensory ligament of the lungs, horizontal fissure. And the most restricted here is two things. First, I feel this fissure. And I have a little bit of the bronchi when I was there. This bronchi. So I'm going to do the fissure. It seems more primary. And that would be a, another video how to find the primary and the dominant lesions. I'm going to do a little bit of that fissure with this technique called lymphofascia release. I'm going to hold the balance of the fascia and send the lymph through it, going toward the hilum, superior and medial. And that's what it took to release that fissure, and I'm going to check if the um, bronchi released. You're going to just have to find the angle of Lewis, and this bronchi is totally released. The right bronchi is free. So we did a lot of the liver, some of the lungs. You can also drain the face to release the nicotine in the tissue itself, especially around the mouth. Sometimes when you smoke, the mouth comes around the lips. But what I'm going to show you is something else that we do. First, we're going to work with the brain on a, the circuit for reward and addiction. And that's a little nuclei called the nucleus accumbens. I think you can come closer a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go on those nucleus accumbens and it's a little more active here tells me there's more release of dopamine. So I'm going to work with that nucleus accumbens. And 
work with another nucleus that connected with it is called the... I think it's going to be on the other side. It's called the VTA, the ventral tegmental area. Here we go. And it's contralateral, which is not as common. And it releases the hyperactivity in that nucleus accumbens right here. And now, as usual, you have to do everything you find. So I just give you a little protocol, but the best is to find the dominant lesion to the next dominant lesion until you release everything that needs to be released. So you may have to release the sacrum or the cuboid or the cecum. But I give you things that comes all the time is to release the liver, the lungs, the circuit for uh, dopamine, which is reward and addiction. So you use that for many things. You can drain the mucosa of the nose, the larynx, pharynx, trachea. And first I'm going to do something that's a bit funny and we teach that in brain 4. I'm going to ask for you to think when you smoke. And then you stop and think about it again. And I'm going to go right there and I, uh, uh, and I read that activity and then you, you rest and you don't think about it. And I'm going to rest, work right on this layer. And for her is layer four of the cortex. Something released, I don't know if it's enough or not, I'm going to continue to try to go in that layer of the cortex when some memory sometimes gets engrammed. Okay, think about smoking again. Just as easy as before? <laughs> you cannot think anymore? It's much more difficult. Don't think about it. That's the idea. Release the thought in some part of the cortex. Funny, huh? It's called a negative memory eraser. I'm going to do something a little bit equivalent, but not with the cortex, but with the lymph tissue. I'm going to bring my chair. And we're going to do the same kind of thing with the cisterna cairi. And it'll be more an emotional piece associated with that lung. Uh, that uh, addiction to nicotine. I'm going to go on the cisterna chile, which is below the angle of the ribs, usually a bit on the right. She's almost midline. And I'm going to ask you to think about smoking again. And stop. Right. So I'm, I have an area here that doesn't drain at all with the cisterna chile. And I'm going to let them follow each other until they are in sync again. Here we go. And you see a faster rhythm of lymph. There's two rhythm that we teach, or three. Think about it. Can you think about smoking? It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more area, and then we stop. We don't bring the memory too fast. Here we go, it's not in sync. And here we go. Another memory eraser, but on the emotional level. And after that, we're going to work with uh, something else. Maybe we'll do it on the next video. I'll, I'll show you how to look for dominant lesion. So, what we did is Follow whatever protocol you have, find your dominant lesion, but eventually at some time you want to have the liver, be sure it's released so you can detox the nicotine, ask them to uh, um, check, check their, their, all the lungs and all the membrane with the lungs and the ligaments. We'll work on the, um, sometimes the trachea or the mouth to some, just to clean the tissue. Uh, you work on the nucleus accumbens 
and the ventral tegmental area that is associated with the dopamine circuit in the brain will erase the metal image of the nicotine, of, of the fact of smoking, and we work with the system like Kylie. And then you can do a few more things, but usually in 30 minutes you are pretty good. Ask them they feel how they feel about smoking and tell them that from now on they are non-smoker, just to help them reaffirm the fact they are non-smoker. You can ask them to drink a lot of water and take a lot of fruits. The fruits will help destroy some of the nicotine and flush that out. And uh, good luck. Thank you so much.